y'all welcome back to my youtube channel today we're gonna be doing a tour of my new car this right here is the 2023 bmw m8 competition grand coupe or grand coupe if you want to be fancy okay y'all want to see under the hood let me show you This car is a monster. Under the hood, here we have the S63 4.4 liter V8 twin turbo engine. It has 617 horsepower, 553 pounds of torque, and a top speed of 190 miles per hour. And it goes zero to 60 in under three seconds. Here you can see the M badging on the grill the laser lights and the BMW M 50th anniversary badge. It just has the M colors around the original BMW badge, which is super cool. This was supposed to be a view of the rims, but you can't really see it, but they're just 20 inch star spoke. Black and gray, nothing too crazy. It also has carbon fiber on the mirrors. And here in the back, we've got the rear sunshades. You just press the button, it'll go up and down. There's also one on the back windshield as well. Then here at the bottom, you have the M badge on the door sill. It's illuminated, so at nighttime, it glows a little bit. Got another MA competition badge here. The quad exhaust down here. Then the fifth anniversary badge again. We we'll have carbon fiber on the trunk lid spoiler. I'll show y'all the interior. Come on. So on the inside, we have the M carbon bucket seats and secure orange. I love this combo. It looks red, but it's really like a deep, deep orange. On the exterior, this is the beautiful Brooklyn gray metallic. It looks even better in person. Now I'm just showing a dash. It has a lot of function. It has the driver assistance package, so it's capable of assisted driving, not fully self-driving, but it has assisted driving where it'll steer, brake, accelerate without you um, touching anything. Here's the camera. It'll show you a 360 view of the whole car, the front, the back, the side, pretty much anywhere. There's so many cameras on this car. Here's some more carbon fiber trim. This car has the carbon fiber package, so it's pretty much carbon fiber everywhere. You do you press right here and it'll park by itself. This is the backup assistant, so if you are, if you back into a spot or you pull into a spot, it'll remember how you backed into the spot and you press that and it'll back you out just in case it's like too tight and you can't get out. Edge on the side, um, you do this to do automatic start. Lock, I mean unlock and that's the trunk and alarm symbol. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to do the automatic parking. So what you do is you find wherever you wanna park at and then you drive next to it, slow down, it'll tell you right here. Select a symbol for a parking space to park and then you just click park. Pick which kind, perpendicular or parallel. We're gonna do perpendicular right now. Just take hands off the wheel and let go of the brake. So see, my foot is not on the brake and then the car is moving. Look at Not touching nothing. I didn't learn how to use this feature 
nothing so when we got that I got it I was like huh but and I'm still not touching nothing look at my feet look at my hands look it stops itself too um, I can you how to order baby food again <laughs> Why you put your feet up? Gotta shut up, I'm not touching that. Yeah. It's different modes right now. Um, I'm in I'm in road mode. So road is just like regular, it's better on gas, da da da. Then you have sport and then you have track. It has launch control too, but I don't know how to do that yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all, that's a wrap for this video. I'm probably gonna do the track haul next. I don't know what day yet, but I definitely wanna do that next because that's my baby. And I haven't drove her in a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, do all that. Tell me what y'all wanna see next.